class. Ms. Frost here again. So um, we are almost done with our inspirational poster. So what I want to do now is think about the borders. And so I am, I've got uh, my black arrow selected here. I'm going to select this whole image. I'm going to go down to the anchor point on the right. I'm going to hit shift and then make this smaller. I didn't make it smaller, I just moved it. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm holding down shift again so I can make sure that it gets smaller in proportion. And then I'm gonna move it and see. That looks pretty nice to me as far as borders go. Um, I think I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Yes, I'm pretty happy with this. So now I'm going to move this off to the side. And I'm going to select my rectangle tool here. And I'm going to start drawing um, a rectangle right here where it says intersect. And draw a rectangle the exact same size as my page. Um, then I'm going to go into the eyedropper tool and I'm going to pick one of the colors from my color scheme. In this case, I'm going to choose this darker brickish color. And then once I've done that, I'm going to select the black arrow. Again, select my picture I've been working from and pull it on top of this background. And what you're going to see here is that we can't see the picture. So I'm right clicking on the picture. Again, that's by pushing the right side of my mouse. I'm going to go to Arrange and then Bring to Front, and that's going to bring my picture in front of the border, like so.